Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us on this Friday afternoon. I finally get the days of the week right. <laughs> We've been streaming every day this week and I seem to be a day ahead. But it is Friday, which means... It's a windy Friday, so if you hear a bit of wind in the background... That is what it is. That is one of the main issues with filmmaking though, isn't it? Wind. It seems to spoil everything, even... It crops up a lot in short films we get yeah. sent, sadly. It really does. So we do apologise if you do hear any wind. But it is Friday, which means that today is the Toronto Liftoff Roundup. Round so there's been a lot of movement this week, hasn't there? There has. There's been lots more votes um, ticking up on those tallies. Lots more viewers. Um, but we'll take a good look at the stats now. Yeah. Shall we move on? Let's go for it. Here we go. Third Roundup. Of the Ooh. Toronto Liftoff Film Festival. <laughs> <laughs> so for the entire month of August, official selections of Toronto Liftoff Film Festival are live exclusively on a Vimeo On Demand, and we had 333 films taking part in the festival. So, exclusively on Vimeo On Demand, they are essentially our viewing partners. So go and check out the description to find the link, and you can go and watch the films there. Amazing. Um, as always, we'll just run you through the trailer, which sits at the top of every Vimeo On Demand page. Um, just to remind people of the voting process, I know some people find it a little bit complicated that we have the two-step system, but it is in place for a reason. And I do have the chat room here, so if you do have any questions regarding the, the voting process at all, we're going to explain it again now, but I will be sitting here answering any questions that you may have. Fire away! Our online festivals are designed to bring much needed new audiences to true indie film with a fair voting process that provides valuable insight for filmmakers. The winning film will receive an official selection to an upcoming Lift Off Film Festival. To vote, please write voted along with two titles of the films you're choosing. Then click the link within the Vimeo description on the festival page. This will open in a new tab where you can validate your votes and give feedback to the filmmakers. Confirm you have purchased the online festival. Enter your Vimeo username. Vote for your first and second favourite films from the programme. Insert your comments on your two favourite films. You must complete both voting processes for your votes to be counted. Filmmakers will receive daily updates on the festivals and winners and finalists will be announced live on our YouTube channel. Thank you for participating in the Lift Off Film Festival and supporting true indie film. All right, there so we go. that's it. That is how you need to vote. As I mentioned, if you do have any questions, just holler at us and we will answer those as soon as we can. Absolutely. So should we look at the films that have made it into this? Let's first look at the oh, prizes. Oh, okay, let's look at the prizes first. I just got super <laughs> eager. I want to see the films. <laughs> well, prizes is very exciting too. Okay. So, two audience choices and jury selections from each of the four programmes will migrate to the network round. From here, selected winners will receive live screenings at Toronto Liftoff Film Festival 2021. We can't wait to be in Toronto. No, so. I miss Toronto so much. It's one of my favourite cities on the calendar. Definitely. We say this every time, but the food. I just keep thinking of all the great vegetarian food you can get there. Yeah. Also, season awards. <laughs> so we also have season award nominations up for grabs. This is our annual uh, red carpet black tie event, which we love celebrating the very best that our festival circuit that year has had to offer. Yeah, and do. what amazing talent there always is to offer. <laughs> it's definitely one of my favourite nights of the year. Yeah. And just watching the filmmakers come all dressed up and we get to dress up, it, it is a lot of fun. So we'll be nominating quite a few films into, from the Toronto Lift Off Online Festival to attend that event, Absolutely. depending how we run it this year. Yep, from a variation of categories, as you can see there, we've got all sorts all across the board. Um, so that's very exciting. We can't wait to see what's going to be nominated. Now can we see the films? Now we can... <laughs> almost, almost. So no, we're nearly there. First, just an important reminder, we do get some people confused. The films that we're about to shout out are the film that sits on top of each page, so the film currently in place number one. It's not then necessarily the film in second and third place. We're trying to give as many shout outs and promotion to you guys as possible. So it's the films that have seen big shifts in their votes over the last seven days. So the biggest movers the of biggest the week. biggest movers, yes. <laughs> cool. So there we go. So now. Are you see, sure? Let's see the films. 
Let's start okay. with innovators. <laughs> okay, so innovators shorts. So we've got 144 viewers from 14 countries and it's currently on 74 votes. Why don't you take it away? Absolutely. Um, so Avernus is sitting there in top position with 18 votes. And then two of our films that we want to give shout outs to this week are Praxedeek, One Second Before Awakening with six votes. Um, the Missing Picture also leapt through the charts, so to speak, also on six votes. So just to also fill you in, these are the votes that are accurate from 11 a.m. BST today, the 21st of August. All could have already changed. <laughs> yeah, well, could have done. It's been two hours already. So, yeah, another important point to note. So here we go. Um, Avernus currently on um, top position on Innovators. So this is a UK film directed by Simon Ross. Successful businessman and golden boy Jack Wells is unscrupulous, immoral, and will stop at nothing to get what he wants. Along the way, he has made many enemies, and today, they're out for revenge. Ooh, I like that poster. There we go. So, uh, congratulations to Simon, currently in top place on Innovators. Praxedeek, one second before awakening, um, a German film directed by Eugene F. Raggio. Nice, colourful sort yeah. of grade of poster there. When a family finds out that they're disinherited, their mild-mannered neighbour, Yanni, is coerced into helping them reappropriate the will favourably. They'll never guess how he plans to do it. Ooh. There we go. Intriguing log line there as Yellow well. Yellow always just draws you in, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. And look how creepy it looks. <laughs> <laughs> the guy sort of lurking there. Hmm. And then The Missing Picture, also on six votes. This is a Canadian film directed by Javier um, Aparisi. Julia reminisces about the time she took her mother, who was suffering from Alzheimer's, and her son to the beach for the first time. But that year's family trip to the ocean was more special than ever since it was the first time for little Victor and the last one for Grandma. Ooh. Aww. Sounds quite sad. I like the poster here as well. Yeah. yeah very sleek. Gets the tone of the film yeah. across. And the, and the typography. Thank you. Typography is so important yeah. and this is really well done. We say it about credits and title sequences as well, like yeah. how important getting typography right is. Very cool. So congratulations to those three films. Um, interested to see how things wrap up over the next week. So moving on then to Pioneer Shorts, we currently have 96 viewers from 17 country and it is on 63 votes, which means that there are a few yeah. votes still to come in here. So You've still got is, a week. you still got a week, yep. yep. So that's fantastic. So this all might change. But currently in the lead is a cattail on 19 votes. My name is John Artiste on 9 votes and Memories on 6 votes. So A Cat Tale by Philip Kapaki on uh, from the USA. Gabe, alive and let's surf, dude. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Gabe, alive and let's surf, dude. Is hired for a cat sitting gig that takes an unexpected turn. The reason why we're laughing about this film is because we watched a clip of it earlier and it's fantastic and it made me laugh so much. And now Claire has reminded me of it. So sorry we, about we've that. We've shouted out this film so far, I think, every week. So it's been sitting in top poll for the last four, the whole duration of the festival. That's why I had to watch it. So a lot of you are clearly loving this film, so congratulations to Phil. Um, and great poster, we said that earlier too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so My Name is John Artis by Ruzba Tamjidi. It's a Canadian film. So an exploration of life of John Artis, who was wrongfully convicted and incarcerated for 15 years alongside Ruben Hurricane Carter. This poster is great as well. Very it cool. has the, I, I, I just love it. It captures it and it, I probably would assume that this is one of the, it almost looks like a court drawing, but it's yeah, not. Yeah, so yeah, it kind yeah. of like ties, artist impression. It, yeah, so it ties everything in. It's cool. I love it. Very well done. Cool. Well done for being mentioned here today. And then Memories by Ian Rayburn. Um, it's got a lot of laurels there as well, so it's yep. doing well on the <laughs> festival circuit. This is another Canadian film, a film about love, loss and acceptance that comes with death of a loved one. Oh, that's a heavy topic to, to tackle as well, but it's doing well and congratulations to the three of you. Um, yes. Nice. Um, on to our emerging talent then, our collection of shorts from New Voices. 184 viewers, so we've got a lot of people watching this programme, have done from the start, uh, from 16 different countries. 85 votes, so still a lot of people undecided, but that's great. There's still plenty of time, as we've said. Um, still in top position at the moment is A Journey for Virtue, 
um, who's director we interviewed. We'll take a look at Aidan next. So he's on 12 votes there. Toronto Under Quarantine is one of our big movers, six votes, as is the animation Ed on six votes. So, A Journey for Virtue here, directed by Aidan Scrimger, a Canadian film. A man troubled by his demons finds a path toward a new state of mind. Whether it's for better or worse, he will have to take that step and find out on his own. And I think I said this last time, but if you didn't listen to our interview, um, along with two other lovely filmmakers, all from the Emerging Talents page, actually, um, do you go and check that out? That was last week. Or the week before, first week, I think. Uh, one of our big movers, Toronto Under Quarantine, directed by Tina Chakrabarty, Canadian film. Scenes in and around Toronto captured during the various phases of COVID-19 lockdown. The videos were captured over a span of three months, starting from the complete lockdown where the city of Toronto, a major tourist destination, commercial intersection and entertainment hub, looked virtually empty to the gradual reopening of stage one and stage two. So a situation that we can all relate to. Um, London has just been a ghost town. It, again, like this, by the sounds of things, like it's beginning to pick up as you'd expect, but strange times. Very strange times. And Ed, I've heard lots of people saying how much they enjoyed this. In fact, somebody mentioned Ed on one of our, on our stream on Tuesday, saying how much they enjoyed this. Um, so this was directed by Ala El Babari, um, final film project made at Sheridan College, this film depicts an old man living his everyday life after the death of his wife. The idea for this film is to create something ordinary and common through simple camera movements that can connect people and ignite a feeling in the viewer. I wanted to showcase the quiet loneliness and dull ache that one experiences with losing a partner. Yeah, Look, heard lots of good things. It's a beautiful mm. film and I encourage you to go check it out. Okay, and then moving on to the final program of the collection, the Trendsetters feature. So we have had 198 viewers from 24 countries, and it's currently on 65 votes. So again, there's lots of movement that can be here, lots of people that need to still register their votes. Um, so let's find out what the films are. So currently in the lead, Nobody Famous is on 23 votes. Mm -hmm. So Yelia, Six Years in Search of Sanity is on 21 votes. So and very close there. <laughs> yeah, that is very close. And My Saviour is on four votes. So let's see how this moves in the next coming weeks, but let's find out a little bit more about the films. So Nobody Famous is from the USA and directed by Elizabeth Alstom. Nobody Famous is a music documentary based on teenage 60s folk singer Susan Taylor, who found commercial success with musician, singer, songwriter trio The Pozo Seco Singers. While fellow member Dan Williams went on to become the most successful country music artist of the 20th century, Susan shied away from fame and fortune, instead choosing to go where the folk wind blows, embracing her path, her own unique artistry and her own individual identity in the process. Nice. Yeah. And then you've got Sayelia, Six Years of Search of Sanity by Lisa Dunn, a UK film. So Vida Helsa is an inspiring entrepreneur and visionary with big dreams. The film follows her rocky and fascinating journey to create Sayelia, an unsurpassed center for yoga in the heart of the Andalusian countryside, the development of which presents her with some ethnical difficult choices between business and her values. Nice. And then My Saviour, a new one to, the, to mention this yeah, week, cool. by Stephen Mercy. One of our big movers. By Stephen Murphy, also from the UK. Um, what will a lonely, separated housewife do when she is victimised by a gang and broken society, when she falls in love with her mystery saviour, only for events to spiral out of control through a hellish nightmare, which ends in murder? That poster dun, dun, dun. looks gripping and gritty. It's intense. Yeah, I love it. And it's obviously had quite a lot of festival selections there. Yeah. So do you go and check out these features. Um, yeah. Nice. Cool. So that is it. They are the films that have been moved around quite a bit last moving week. Around. <laughs> yeah, moving around. <laughs> and in current pole position. Very cool. Yeah. So um, if you're watching this and you're a filmmaker who's looking to launch your career into the stratosphere, um, why not take a look at our professional membership? So for an annual fee of $189, um, you receive access to a whole host of features, some of which are listed there, such as free submissions, career advice. Um, we have things like a jobs dashboard, market representation. We're here to lend support for things like your productions, 
and much more. Yes. So you can find all the information at liftoff.network forward slash membership. So yeah, thank you for watching. We do actually have that final filmmaker interview for them from the Toronto Lifter Film Festival we taking place on do. Tuesday. So I'm just going to have a flick through the top of the chat rooms here and see if there's anyone that's interested. If you are still watching and you would like to be included in the interviews on Tuesday, comment now and we will do our best to get you on. There are two yep. spaces available. There are. Um, looking forward to doing those. As Nat said, that'll be our last one. Yeah. Um, and just one other thing to mention, we have our first time filmmaker sessions, which goes live on Sunday. Um, this week, the liftoff sessions has been running for one week, ends on Sunday, 10 p.m. BST. Uh, so we're very excited for the first time filmmaker sessions to go live next week. As always, bringing you a whole host of independent films. Yeah, we <laughs> do. And then it's not long until the Los Angeles Lift Up Film Festival goes live as well. Not long at all. So, um, invites for that will be going out very shortly. So keep your eyes peeled if you've submitted to that one. Busy, 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 always. Busy, busy, which is busy, great. always. But for now, it's the weekend. And I hope everyone has a lovely weekend watching this amazing independent film. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us.